So to recap, the thread is on the post. The thread comes off the spool and into the thread guide on the needle arm. It's lying in between the tension discs on the needle arm. We've threaded it through the thread guide underneath the needle arm and now we need to thread the needle. So our indispensable needle threader comes into play. We'll need to slide that through the hole of the needle. There we go. Now hopefully you can see that the little metal loop is on the other side of the needle. So let's take our thread and slide it through that loop. If you need to moisten the end of the thread to make it go through quicker, it's a good idea. Okay. There we go. I found that once we've threaded the needle, before we start sewing, it's helpful to have that thread be through the hole in the fastening plate first. Here's an easy way to do that. Turn the rotary wheel into one full cycle. Again, the needle is at its highest position. Grasp the lower arm of the machine. Pull up the fastening plate and with your seam ripper just pull that thread through. So now the sewing machine has been threaded and the thread is under the fastening plate. That'll make for a much neater sewing and the beginning stitch will automatically be locked. Every time we change thread, we will have to re-thread the needle. But we can make the rest of the threading process simpler by using the thread that's in there as a guide. So before we take off the thread we don't want anymore, let's just pull a little extra on this side of the bobbin. Again, let's, we're going to gently pull off this thread spool so that we don't lose our little spring. And let's cut. Here's the post. You saw that fell out of my hand. And let's switch now to red. I'm going to pull off a length, slide the post through the spool, and slide it into the post making sure the spring doesn't get disengaged or fly out into the room somewhere where we can't find it. Okay, let's take the black thread and the red thread and tie them together. We have a little knot here. That little knot most likely will not pass through the needle. I don't know if you can see it or not, but there it is. A little knot right there. So let's pull our thread and see how far it'll go. Very gently and slowly. No, it won't go through the needle. but it will get us through that little guide under the needle arm which is time consuming. Okay, so now what we have left to do again is to thread the needle. And we'll need to thread our needle again. Here's the needle threader. We'll need to find the hole in the needle. Slip that guide through. Now it'll sit there while you Get the thread through that wire loop and pull it through. And again, it does make for neater sewing if this thread is underneath the fastening plate. I'm right-handed, so I'm going to lift the fastening plate with my left hand, and with my right hand, I'm going to pull it through. And now we're ready to sew again.